Hey, it's Daniel. Uh, it's probably about 10, 30, maybe 11 o'clock at night on a Sunday night, and I'm sitting on the ground out here in my front yard. Um, it turns out that our yard must have been really thirsty because it decided to crack the water line that goes, that feeds the, the whole house, the main water line that comes from the street. Um, the house is about 150 feet behind me there, and um, I'm sitting out here with uh, no light whatsoever except for my headlamp, and um, had to do a DIY project. And that's, you know, yay. Uh, you want to own a house? Get some work to do. Sweat equity, I say. Anyway, so here we are. Here's the hole in the ground. Um, yeah, I'm barefoot. And um, this was completely flooded a while ago. Here's the, um, the uh, gauge here, the water, water gauge that shows it's, it's not spinning whatsoever. So I've actually stopped the leak. This was completely flooded a while ago. There was about three inches of water there, and it went across the street. Um, we kind of live out in the country here, and there's not a whole lot. There's just a couple of gas lanterns, you know, here in the houses, but you can see there's not a whole lot going on. But, um, yeah, I'm just sitting out here now, uh, barefoot, uh, at one with the earth and the fire ants. They're all over the place, but, you know, what are you going to do? Who cares? Um, but yeah, it's hard, hard not to become one with the earth when uh, you're having to dig in it. Yeah, it feels kind of good, actually. This was a swamp a while ago. Anyway, <clears throat> this is a, a whole new pipe. Uh, this valve was here from last year. I, I installed this valve last year. I installed this pressure uh, pressure gauge right here. This is actually a this sets the, the pressure for the whole house. I've got that set at about 65 pounds for, per square inch, uh, and um, and that way the, the the housing is safe. The pipes inside the house are safe, and um, everything from that meter that way belongs to the city, but everything this way belongs to us. So when we um, lost about a thousand waters in the form of gallons that floated across that way and fed the neighbor's yard tonight. I'm sure they'll be happy. Um, I had to take matters into my own hands late at night after a long, hot, sweaty Texas day. So, yippee ki -yay. Anyway, there it is, yep, all new, brand new pipe. I installed this guy. The purple here is all the, um, that's the, the primer that softens the pipe and there's the glue and this is a splice that I had to do. And this puppy is rock solid. Uh, this pipe here below my buttocks goes straight towards the house. And this uh, splits off to the irrigation, which is this box here, which uh, that's, that handles all the, um, the sprinkler system for the house. All right, so um, that pretty much does it. Um, you know, you just got to do what you got to do. Uh, I can turn the water on or off. It's on right now. It's completely dry. So my splice worked perfectly. I replaced, I replaced uh, this temporary piece of junk that was a splice that had been inside there and I had to cut that completely out and cut some new one inch water pipe here and, and add a, um, a coupler. And an uh, ordinary coupler won't work. So here's a coupler, there's an ordinary coupler. It's got that little tiny ridge inside there, you see that? A little ridge that goes on a piece of pipe uh, to a certain point and stops and you put another piece of pipe in there. But you can't do that when, you're, when you can't move your pipe around. This is rigid inside the ground. So I had to file that out of the other one, file that completely out of there uh, and, and get that smooth to where I could slide it all the way under the pipe, put that piece of pipe in here with this new end piece uh, and then slide it all the way on and then back it over this pipe, put more glue on it, and then finally secure it. So we have full pressure, 65 PSI right now. House is good. Um, the air is purged out of the system. And um, I'm gonna go inside and, and take a shower. But it's been fun out here playing in the mud. So if you ever get a chance to play in the mud, you should. Warrior style. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, I'm going inside to take a shower because I actually need one now. Peace out. Science all the things. Even this crap. <laughs> all right. Bye.